Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a bit different, but before we get into that, make sure to follow all my socials and like, comment, and subscribe, and click the little bell so you get notified every time I post or upload a new video. So let's get right into the video. Today's video will be a bit different, as I already said. It's going to be a DIY video. I haven't done one of these yet, I think. Yeah, I haven't done one of these yet. So, it'll be my first DIY video. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yesterday I did a Valentine's Day photo shoot so I could post some pictures. Uh, and my mom really liked the way it turned out. And I did it all with this dollar store, like, stuff. Like, I made a backdrop, I had balloons and all that stuff, and then I edited them, and they came out really cool. I'll show you some of them here. Pretty, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, so she really liked how it turned out, and she wanted to do one for my siblings. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own DIY photo shoot for, like, $10 at most. I think I literally spent $8. So, yeah. Let's just hop right into it. So... I'm going to show you how to do this now. Okay. So, the first thing you will need to do is... Let's blink. Oh. First thing you need to do this is some sort of backdrop. Or if you just want to use it a wall, that's fine. But, since it's Valentine's Day, we're going to use a backdrop. So, what my mother wanted to use for her backdrop was this. It is just tissue paper. Yeah. I hope it's big enough. I don't know. I used wrapping paper, like red wrapping paper. So I don't know how this is going to work out. But hopefully it's large enough. And you just want to put that up on your surface. Oh yeah, this is pretty big. Oh no, it's not. It's in... That's so upsetting. It's in little squares. Well, they're going to be sitting down, so I only have to do like three of them. So, you're going to need tacks, like, like, what do I call them? Wall tacks? Pins. Push pins, that's what I call them. You need push pins. So you can stick the stuff or you can use tape or whatever you have. I'm using push pins and tape, which I forgot in my own coffee bag. So now I'm just gonna So now I'm just gonna put the stuff on the wall. But um I'm gonna try to make it look like it's all one big like backdrop type situation. Yeah. I'm a creative kid. Yes. Oh my gosh, I think I just broke something. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, I did it. Okay. So, this is the situation we are going to have. Uh, they don't all match up, but it's kind of bothering me. It's fine. I'm not like. It doesn't really. I feel like the camera's falling, but it's not. Uh, okay. Here's that. Now, you can put up like any type of decoration that you have around it. It's not really all that intricate, but I just wanted to show you because. Um, I just wanted to show you is what I was saying before my camera so rudely cut off because 
there are some like influencers who like have all these big boats and so I'm like I feel like that's unnecessary. And you can just do it in the comfort of your lovely home. Me. <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, whoa, so lightheaded right now. Fun fact. Oh my gosh, so lightheaded. Okay. I went to a camp and they like taught us like at one time I went to a summer camp and it was like a performing arts camp. And there was this one class, I think it was called like circus talents. And they taught us like how to tie balloons and stuff. Like so like I really like 100% thought that I should be like one of those people at the carnival, no, the circus. And like I like used to come home with like flowers and stuff and like yeah, I thought that's what I was going to pursue my career in. But I really didn't like the people at the camp. Not like the kids. The kids were fine, but like the adults they're kind of rude but uh yeah so fun fact I learned how to tie balloons and I know how to like do like a flower and like a dog so I just thought that was pretty cool imagine if there was somebody going around with a big British accent like just like convincing people that they were like a real British person I feel like I know somebody that does that, but maybe not. I just feel like we do. I probably don't, because I've really like never met anyone with a British accent in my life, so I don't know why I just said that. got a cold heart. That never really made sense to me. Cause like, why would you put more ice on something that's cold? Riley Witch, explain, I am confusion. So here that is. Now I'm gonna put up like that because I wanna put that at the bottom. So it's not just some, some whack carpet because that'd be totally whack with two A's. I never understood why they did that and why that became a trend. But whatever. You know, in that song he says something about trying to get a um dojo like a sensei. <laughs> I just think that's funny. And then he says something about how he yellow diamonds on him like lemonade. Um, I just think that's funny too. I always think about Beyonce when I hear that part of the song because you know, her hit album, Lemonade, duh. Or I think about DKNY and that one song we like, Lemonade, Lemonade, ooh, ooh, ooh. These haters got a smile and look upon their face. Lemonade. I used to have a dance, dance, jazz dance to that song, but I left the company before we performed it because it wasn't a pretty good one. But now I love my storm family. So exciting. It's exciting. It's completely exciting. Uh, I don't know. If this goes. I'll try. I feel like it's way like too big. I feel like a little kid. I saw this thing on the For You page the other day. It was like little kids moving their hand on their face like this. 
And I've literally been doing that for the past 12 minutes. So. <laughs> I put the new forties on the Jeep. Uh, yeah, this is way too large for that, so. We don't need it. Plus, the gold doesn't really go with the vibe I'm going for, so we can't have it, you know, killing the vibe, and then our photo shoot wouldn't pass the vibe check, and then just be all messed up. So, I'm just gonna blow up this balloon that says low. It's not very big, which is good, because I want it to go right in between those two little hearts to show how much they love each other. I put the new, the old, I'm sorry, am I annoying you? That's the only part I really know to that song. I know high fashion better. How about I sing that? High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon, on the Rover. I put some ice on you cause you got a core. I like that song cause it says Chanel and Dior, yo, and I think he means Chanel and Dior. And that's me and my sister's middle names. So, I'm gonna write what's on each other's. If you can't tell, I've been listening to a lot of Roddy Rich lately. Cause that's what all the hip kids do. You know why we all, wow. You know, I've also been listening to a lot. Well, most recently, like for the past week, I've been listening to Julia Michaels because I just love her voice. Like in If the World Was Ending with JP, whatever his last name is, her voice is just so raw and it's so pretty. She's like, I tried to imagine your reaction. It didn't scare me that hard. Oh, I love that song. Just Solely because of it. It's kind of depressing. I just like her voice though. The lyrics don't really vibe with my life at the moment because you know, I'm living it up. But other than that, when I get in my little hip kid mood, I listen to Pop Smoke. That man's voice. Oh. I think I'm a New Yorker. Like, I think that I was born in the wrong state. I think so. I think I was supposed to be born in New York, but it's okay. I like where I am now. It is Gucci, I guess. But I think I was supposed to be born in New York, and that's all I have to say. Now, here is what I have so far. Uh, only thing I'm gonna do is add some little rose petals. Baby, welcome to the pod. I hit the boy up, then I go skate the world. Oh my gosh, I am Pop Smoke. You can't tell me any different. So here is the photo shit. Now, we're going to take... Oh, no we're not. Well, I set this up. We're going to take the pictures later. But this is what we have for now. So, make sure to stay tuned for the next clip. Bye, babies. What was that? I really hated the fact that I said that. I will see you in the next clip.